Preheating the coffee roasting machine is one of the first things that any roaster needs to do before they can even begin to roast. Let us know in the comments section below how you like to preheat your roaster. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Pro Tips! My name is Kenneth and this week we're going to be talking about how to preheat your coffee roaster before you begin roasting. First, let's talk about the heat dynamics in a typical drum roaster. Now this is not the same for recycled air roasters like the Loring or hot air bed roasters. For today, we'll just be covering a typical drum roaster first. So over here, we have a drawing of a typical drum roaster setup with the flame at the bottom and the roasting chamber in the middle and the hopper where you can charge your coffee followed by the exhaust chamber for the hot air to exit the roaster. The flame heats up the surface of the drum Depending on your roaster, it could be a cast iron or stainless steel. This heat is then transferred to the hot air within the drum. It heats up the air in the drum and the coffee inside the drum, which is represented by this green section here. And then the hot air finally exits through the exhaust chamber out the roaster. Now for today's pro tip video, let's just ignore the green segment here and pretend there's no coffee in the roaster just yet. Okay, so there are typically at least two measurements that you would have in your roasting machine. The first one is represented by this probe at the exit chamber here, which we measure the ET or short for environment temperature. This is the temperature of the hot air exiting the roaster through the exhaust chamber here. The next one is the bean temperature measured by a probe somewhere towards the bottom and the side of your roasting machine. This temperature probe measures a combination of the hot air in the roaster and the radiant heat from the flame below. And if the coffee were in the roaster, it would also be measuring the external temperature of the coffee beans through contact with the coffee bean around the temperature probe. So combined together with the hot air and the radiant heat from the flames below. Now the one thing that we don't get to measure is the temperature of the surface of the metal in the drum, whether it's cast iron or stainless steel. We're going to call this temperature Z. Now the environment temperature is a direct result of the air within the drum roaster interacting with the radiant heat from the flames and also in contact with the hot metal along the sides of the drum. Therefore, your environment temperature is a direct result of an interaction between the hot air in the drum measured by your BT Remember, there's no green coffee in here at this moment. And the surface temperature of the metal of your drum. For you math geeks out there, this is not an actual mathematical equation. It's just to show you the relationship between the exhaust temperature and the variables that affect it over at the drum. Okay? Now when we start roasting, we want to make sure that the coffee roasting machine is sufficiently heated up. The reason for this is if we start roasting without preheating the roaster, the metal of the drum will absorb a lot of the heat during the roasting process instead of letting the heat go to the coffee beans. So you'll not be able to roast the coffee evenly and sufficiently because the metal drum is absorbing the heat from the flames at the same time while you're roasting the coffee. So the preheating routine is very very important to make sure that the roaster is sufficiently heated up before you begin to roast. So how do you know when your roasting machine is sufficiently heated up? Now every roasting machine is different, so you do have to work a little bit to figure out what is the ideal setting for your roasting machine and hopefully this guide will help you figure that out. Now let's call that state where the roasting machine is sufficiently heated up to be your ideal thermal setting. Now a good starting point for figuring out your ideal thermal setting is running a test batch through your roasting machine and at the end of the batch, after you have released the coffee, you can measure six variables to identify the minimum thermal settings that you have to have before you begin roasting. The first variable is the next...